Sagittarius, I'm Christy, you're watching Tiny Turtle Tarot and this is your reading for the week ahead. As always, if anything I say resonates or you feel it will in the future, because obviously it's not happened yet, please let me know by liking and subscribing. Let's get on with your reading, what's happening for you beautiful Sagittarians this week. Strength card and the chariot, okay. You've got to, this week might be a little bit more challenging, but don't take that to heart. In the eyes of others, okay, it's not to you. You're, you're quite capable of managing this week. There's something you're doing though this week where others are like, how are you doing that? How are you keeping up? How are you juggling those things? How are you managing to do both those things successfully? The reason I'm saying both things is the chariot's about multitasking successfully. So I feel like there's two things you're doing and it could be your love life and your career are going really well, but they're both very busy. Um, and it's just, it looks a little bit like if other people were doing it, they'd be like burnt out, rocking back and forwards in a corner, crying. But you're like, keeping a happy face, keeping chirpy, and there's something weird with the strength card. It's also, like, you're aware that it's hard, but you're just like, it's hard either way, why should I cry about it? I'll just smile. Like, there's something where you're very, you're very much like, well, it's difficult. It's going to be just as hard whether I'm upset about it, so I might as well be happy. It's a very nice energy, very optimistic, very positive feeling. Uh, there's travel here also, you could be traveling this week, the star card, there you go, that's like this energy of you, people are going to be looking at you like, whoa, how is Sagittarius doing that? We're not sure, but we need to do something more like you, like there's something where other people look to you, and that's the thing is, the star is all about like the light shining in the darkness, and I feel like there's other people that are going through a lot, and they're like, well, Sagittarius is juggling a lot, hmm. I could be going through this and still be successful at this because Sagittarius is doing it. Oh, Eight of Swords. You're not, you're not as trapped as you feel like you are. So you might be going down a certain path because you feel like you have no other options. I feel like this week you might realize actually this is a good path to be on and it's getting, it's going to end up getting you to where you want to go, even if you can't yet see how. It's the stars will, the stars, get it? The star card came out. The stars will align and take you to where you're aiming to go. Even if right now you feel a bit trapped or stuck in your current situation, feeling like you're only there because you have to be, uh, just try and get yourself out of that mindset because I feel like you're not. And you could be feeling this way on the inside, but everyone else is like, wow, Sagittarius is doing great. Sagittarius is so successful. They're doing this, they're doing this. And then on the inside, you're like, I'm trapped. I don't want to be I'm in this contract. I don't want to be in this situation. This I could be doing more. There's something where you actually are, whether it feels like it or not, you are on the right path. You're not trapped in your path because it, you're meant to be on it. The Eight of Wands, and you could, like, once you take that blindfold off and realise, oh, I'm not trapped yet, that's right, that's the direction I'm going, I'm going to carry on walking now, because you're not stuck, there's nothing actually physically holding you back, it's all in your mind, and then the second you realise that and have that epiphany, you're off running, you're running down your path to get to the goal, to get to where you originally planned, but with the Star card, you have to remember where it is you're going, you have to remember what it is you're aiming for, and if you don't, if you never even had that idea, there's something where you're now starting to dream it up and then you can get going. Like, like that energy of you can't hit a target you're not aiming for. That's you. You you you're the you're the arrow, right? Sagittarius, you're the archer, and you can't hit a target you're not aiming for. Figure out what you want or re-figure out, remember what you started for and aim for it. Five of Pentacles reversed. The hermit reversed. You also aren't alone. These are both very lonely cards. Um, not in a negative sense of the Hermit. That's positive isolation, kind of healing, figuring yourself out, but it's reversed. 
you're not alone this week. Um, Five of Pentacles is about being locked outside in the cold, but it's reversed. And I feel like there's something this week where you're going to feel a lot more like you have family and friends around you that are there for you. The High Priestess. High Priestess, all about your intuition, being quite psychic. This week, I feel like there's something you can feel coming. It could be to do with love, because I was about to ask about love for you. Let me ask about love now. But you can feel a change in the wind, or you can feel something coming in. The death card. The death card. That is the change in the wind that you can feel. Death is all about rebirth. You also had the Wheel of Fortune, which is all about change on the bottom. Um, you can feel a change coming. And it's a rebirth, it's the start of something new. And you might be keeping quiet about it because the High Priestess is very much all knowing and seeing, but she doesn't share it with others. Like, what have you got to gain? Nothing to gain from telling others what's happening. But there is something happening, there's a big change coming. And, hmm. Is this to do with love? Do you have someone coming in? Now you've got the Wheel of Fortune flying out as well, it was on the bottom. We have the lovers on the bottom of the deck as well. You can feel either there's someone new coming in, Sagittarius. Also Sagittarius energy here. Virgo energy, also Scorpio energy. You can feel someone coming in. Or if you're in a relationship, you feel things progressing very nicely into a more solid commitment. Some of you are stepping into engagements or marriage or moving in together. There's like that next progress that you're not really... It's almost like that feeling of if this is something new, you don't want to tell anyone because you don't want to jinx it, is this feeling. You don't want to, the second you tell someone about it, it always goes wrong. The second you start sh like getting excited, you realize, oh, there was nothing to be excited about. I don't know if that's you, but there's just this feeling of this time around, no, nope, this time around, you're not really telling anybody until you're definite, black and white, sure that you have to tell someone. <laughs> It could just be about telling family, close friends, like you just are a bit hesitant. What else is going on? Nine of Wands reversed. Oh, Sagittarius. You're opening up a little bit more. Nine of Wands is very blocked off energy. Wounded warrior, been hurt in the past. You don't want to let your walls down. So reversed. You might unexpectedly, or someone around you who's very closed off, is going to be very open with you and the reason i like this energy is because neither of you are expecting it whether it's them opening up or you opening up it's just like whatever shield whatever armor was around you or this person it just disappears um like there's no argument there's no fight it's just like let go what's the worst that can happen I'll get you one more card. What's happening this week for you? Oh, two more cards. So you've got Judgment and Justice. J's might be significant, but I don't know why I just felt like saying that, JJ. Um, there's a decision being made in your favour this week. And this could be a decision that you're making in your own favour. It could be a decision someone else is making. It could be some of you getting married, deciding to say yes. Um, whatever it is. Don't make your decision based on others' approval, because I'm just getting that judgment card. Don't be worried about what others are judging of you. Make what you feel, make the decision you know is best for you. And I know that you don't really care what others think, Sagittarius, but there's still a feeling of a little niggling. Maybe there's one person in particular that you do care. Stop caring, do what you feel is best for you. You're living your life, not them. I'm going to wrap your reading up here. Thank you so much for watching. If anything I said resonated or you feel it will in the future, because obviously it's not happened yet, please let me know by liking and subscribing, and I'll see you next Tuesday for Tiny Toddle Tarot Tuesdays.